This first week has been very exciting. Who wants to be unreasonable? I'm going to ask you to do something a little bit ridiculous. Far end, Luis. Okay. So I'm Luis Duarte and my venture is Yo Reciclo. We're based in Mexico. In Latin America, the recycling rates are close to 0%. My company develops customized recycling solutions for any institution to increase recycling rates in Latin America. But still, there's a lot of things going in my mind right now. What's your dream? What do you really want to see happen? I want to leave cleaner environment for my son. There you go. Perfect. Clean up the environment in Mexico. That's what you want to do. Yeah. It was difficult to make the decision of being apart six weeks. And it's important for me to know that this experience, it's really adding value to my company, my personality, to my growth. Otherwise, I will feel that this is a failure, right? Oh, Luis, I'm, I'm sending out a newsletter um, to let people know you're presenting on Thursday. I just want to tell them a little bit about you. I just want to get this right. You guys have made a million dollars in revenue in the past 18 months. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> we were conducting interviews, and I was fortunate to have a phone call with Luis. Eight months of running this company, he had already broke even, and he was generating nearly a million dollars in revenue already. The only thing I was thinking was, why are you applying to the Unreasonable Institute? What could we possibly add? The first day I came to, to the Unreasonable Institute, they told me that there's a very interesting company called EcoCycle, which is run by Eric Lombardi. He is definitely a person that I need to meet in order to forecast what is going to be happening in Mexico in the next years. And I would love for him to be an advisor and a member of our board. I think he can really give us good advice on how to turn this industry around in Mexico. First of all, I love unreasonable because I've been called unreasonable my whole career. <laughs> You're gonna see here one of the more modern $20 million recycling facilities. Everything in your trash can, it, it's not waste. There's a market for 85% of what's in your trash can. Let's get to 90%, and if we make it to 90%, we've changed the world. Eric, um, I, think he's, I think he's a dreamer. If your community doesn't have recycling, keep these apart. Uh, until you're successful or big enough that you can afford a plant like this. Okay. Not everybody needs this. Yeah. So, so do you have a facility? We have a facility. We have three vertical balers. Okay. All the sorting is done manually. Okay. When you visit, I would love to yeah. just okay. for you to look at the facility Good. and I'll, I'll, you know yeah, I'll fly you into Monterey. And... I asked Eric today to be on my board. I have been looking for a partner or a board member like Eric. And people are just now starting to embrace the idea that waste is a social issue first and a market issue second. And what that means is, is the community and the political structure are involved in the infrastructure for your community. I think it's absolutely possible around the world and it's growing so rapidly yep. around the world. We have examples right here and I meet people like you all the time. I think this could be the most important part of, of me being here at Boulder right now. Even if, if we don't get like the check right now, all the advices and all the strategy that I am trying to build up with these mentors is huge. I have been living the past six weeks thinking about my family, but enjoying so much being around my family. It might be difficult to keep in touch. Be sure of this. You have a family member in Mexico.